Hey y'all, I'm back in the car on my way to Starbucks. It is maintenance day, okay? I'm so excited because I have the day off. Took the day off from work, took some of my PTO. I am super excited because I'm about to go get my nails done. They look atrocious, okay? Atrocious. I don't know why it's so dark, by the way. I'm so sorry. Ooh, let me keep my sunglasses on because my lashes look crazy. What's up, y'all? So, very excited. I'm very excited to have the day off. Very excited to get my nails done because, girl, look at these nails. You can't really see just how bad they are because I get natural colors mostly. But look at, look at this hand. The struggle. I tried to go get them done before my work trip to Texas, but she didn't have any availability, and so I had to go to Texas with raggedy nails and now they are even more raggedy than they were so oh my gosh i guys wear earrings wow I look like so basic so i got my starbucks because you know it ain't it ain't a true maintenance day sorry it ain't a true maintenance day or a true errand day if you ain't got no starbucks you know what i'm saying damn this line got crazy out of nowhere oh my god i pulled up here and there was no one here and now there is literally five six cars in the line Jesus so I need to figure out where I'm going my nail girl has moved locations I'm going to be a bit early it is 20 minutes 19 minutes away okay my time child I might just stay right here for a second and eat my croissant in peace I think I'm gonna do that I really need I need like a car mount I need a car mount I got my croissant and my latte and I'm ready to get my nails done. Mmm. Delicious. Oh yeah, you guys saw my nail debacle. My nail fiasco in Texas, cause that vlog should be up already if I'm on my ish like I'm supposed to be. But so anyways, I wanna thank you guys. I'm getting some really good responses from my last um, Glow Up series vlog. It's not like a ton of views or anything but like YouTube so if you're a youtuber you know this already but YouTube will tell you like how your video ranks every time you post a new video it shows you how you how that video ranks against the last nine videos you've posted and that one is ranked pretty high it's number four which usually only like my hair videos or maybe like try on hauls will get like that type of like that type of ranking. I really don't expect a lot of views on the Globe Series vlogs or any vlogs in general, just because I know that's like not what most people subscribe to me for. They subscribe to me for beauty content. But I really like doing those vlogs. I feel like even though they don't get a lot of views or anything like that, I think the people who do watch them still appreciate them because you know, it's relatable for the most part. Like most of my subscribers are around my age. I have some that are older. Hey auntie, how y'all doing? Some that are older, but most of my subscribers are around my age. So I feel like it's very relatable content. So um, I just wanna say thanks guys for watching. It's not anything crazy, <laughs> but I do appreciate it. Cause for a while there, I was just like really uneasy about all of my lifestyle content, you know? Girl, this is so good. <sighs> All right, let's go. Let me make sure my vacation responder is on at work because y'all need to know that I'm out of office and I will not be responding promptly. I will be responding when I can. You know how sticky it get? Yo, what's up with these roads, bro? Glasses change <laughs> because these are prescription and I actually need to see because I don't know where I'm going. Right. Do we all know how to use a roundabout properly? Glad to hear it. At the light, I-85 South. Woo, this is sketchy. Lord have mercy. But you know what? Miami got some sketchy entrances to their highways too, so I can't even tell. I can't even tell. This is actually way less sketchy than some of the highway entrances or highway exits, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> they have in Miami, oh my gosh. You'd be in like a neighborhood and then boom, I-95. Like, huh, what? So you'd be like, turn left on 5th Street. The right lane you in a neighborhood. Exit to and then she like, I take a slight down. right. And the slight right is in the middle of a neighborhood to get onto one of the main highways in Florida uh, on the East Coast. <laughs> like, the exit. the exit. South to 75. Ciao. Where am I going? I don't know. Ooh, I love these. 
love these. Beep, beep, beep. No one beeps in them anymore, though. Because y'all are boring. I'm not gonna beep, though. Because I'm a sheep. And I'm self-conscious. Okay. All right, y'all. Let me focus on the road. We are now on the highway, and I do not have a car mount, so... people last week and I don't want to spread COVID. <laughs> ah, yes, okay, so I am done getting my nails done. They are so cute, love it. It's giving Valentine's Day. I decided to try the almond shape again. <laughs> I tried almond shape like, I don't know, maybe like a year and a half ago at this point. Fall 2021, I believe. I tried almond. And I thought it was cute, but I was like, I don't know if this is for me. <laughs> um, but then, like, I just keep, like, I am just keep being influenced to try this shit. And, like, every time I go on Pinterest and look for, like, nail ideas and stuff, like, they are shoving almond and stiletto down my throat. <sighs> and I succumbed to the influence. So, I decided to try it. And I'm like, I always hear that... <sighs> They always say that it elongates your fingers. If you have short fingers, like me, I have short, stubby fingers, then they look, they, they should work really well for you. But I don't really know if there's a difference between these and the square that I usually get, but whatever, I'm digging it. I like the way she did these. It's like an almond, almost stiletto, like almost. So cute. Look how cute. Love it. It's very feminine. It's very... Yeah, I like it. I like it. I think I like it more this time than I did the first time I tried it. I don't know. I think I was just so attached to Square, but I think maybe we'll go with this. These are more expensive, though, so... I don't know, but they do kind of make my short, stubby fingers look a little bit longer and skinnier than they actually are so we might we might stick to this shape for a while we don't see okay so now i wanted to get a pedicure today but i'm also hungry but i have food at home that i really do want to eat like i have food at home that i really want to eat it's chicken from crispy crunchy chicken and it's so good and i'd like to go eat it so i might just cut the maintenance for today and go get my nails my feet done tomorrow i've already spent enough money today <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't even have a a nail salon i just thought about it i don't even have a nail salon to go, to go to so i'm gonna go home and eat my food and regroup just take me home then take me home country roads wait country roads Take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. Hey, do I want to go on the highway where there's hella traffic? Or do I want to take the 26 minute route and go the local road? I, I like taking local roads not because I'm afraid of the highway sometimes, but just because like I like to see. Starting route to home. Atlanta. Head south on Heights Park New Southeast. I'm trying to get to know this place, you know? So, if I get to know the local roads. At the stop sign, turn left on. It really helps to get to know the area when you drive local roads. I do want to know the highways too now, but I've had a lot of experience with the highway at this point, so. At the light, Avenue I'm Southeast. I'm well aware of the three highways in Atlanta that all merge together to one. Very, very familiar with that BS. Atlanta, what the, what the hell is that? I know it has to do with racism. I know it does, um, but why? Why is there three Atlanta Deli? They probably have some fire ass food in there. They say more money, more problems. Bring on the 
problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the motherfucking problems. Welcome to East Atlanta. Hey guys, it is now Saturday. <laughs> so I did go home and I did eat my crispy crunchy chicken. Um, and then I did Stay nothing the for the rest of the day, um, which was great, it felt amazing, let me tell you. Today I am going to get a Brazilian wax and then get a pedicure, which I was supposed to do yesterday, but I realized I didn't have like an actual one more. Oh, okay. All right, you go ahead then. You go ahead on that front. I'm gonna go this way. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so yeah, I'm on my way to Sweet Peach Wax Studio in one mile. And then I'm gonna go get a pedicure. Pieces, very broad, okay. And then I'm gonna go get a pedicure. And then and then I'm gonna go home again because it's kind of gray outside. I need to get my car fixed. I just really don't feel like driving around. It's a lot. And we're done. So I am done. Oh, let me take off this mask. It's just me. All right, guys. So, who is cold out here? Not that bad, though. So I'm done getting my wax. I was in and out of there in like 10, 15 minutes. It was great. There's a man walking by. Making me uncomfortable with his presence. Just kidding. Why do I always leave my earrings? This is the second day in a row that I forgot my earrings, y'all. What is going on? Okay, so now I'm about to go see if I can get a pedicure. I'm hungry though, so I'm also gonna see if there's a Starbucks nearby. Because I need to eat something. Even though their food is not good, but their croissants are. Am I gonna get a croissant two days in a row? There's one five down, five miles down the road. Not five miles, well, it's a lot. <laughs> five minutes down the road. And then, what was the nail salon? Oh, nail shadow. And guess what? The Starbucks is on the way to the nail shadow. This just in. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna go to Starbucks. Ooh, there's a Barnes and Noble. I wanna go, but I don't need to spend any more money than I'm already about to spend. Is this the same, oh, Buckhead Village. Oh, I freaking hate the parking in this area. It's like, Atlanta has all this land, and yet somehow the smallest parking spaces in the world. Like, whose freaking idea was that? Okay, so, let me order some Starbucks, cause my, girl, I am tired, okay? I am tired today. So me and my boyfriend, we decided to take a nap at nine o'clock. Let me, let me, let me, let me get real with y'all right now and so y'all can see me. Me and my boyfriend decided, oh, I'm not all on here, good. That we were going to, oh, is the Starbucks in the Barnes and Noble? It is in the Barnes and Noble. It is in, oh, that changes things. Oh, there's one. The Starbucks is in the same plaza as the nail salon. They knew what they was doing. They knew what they were doing. Now, here's the thing. Should I get, we're gonna go down to the Starbucks. We're gonna go get us some some coffee or maybe an iced chai latte with oat milk. I'm not about to get that mozzarella foolishness because it's $6 and I'm like, if it's nasty, I'm gonna be so mad. And every time I get food from Starbucks, it's nasty. Except for their grilled cheese. Their grilled cheese is good, but that's grilled cheese. 
And I don't want a grilled cheese with an iced chai tea latte, do I? I mean, what's really stopping me? I should just get a croissant. I'm gonna get a croissant. And then to the nail salon, and let's hope that I don't have to wait for 40 days and 40 nights. Let's go. I got my eyes choked. I'm sorry, I know some of us are sensitive to Kanye um, right now. That's fine. All right, I got my iced chai latte and my croissant. I'm gonna just drive over to the nail bar. It's literally right there. I saw it when I was passing to get to Starbucks. So, getting my croissant. Just gonna head over there. See ya. Sorry? Five? Five? Um, what time is available? Are you guys open on Sundays or no? Yeah. We close a little bit early though. Um, what times do you have for tomorrow? Um, just a, a gel pedicure. A gel pedicure? Yeah. Alright, you know, we'll see you at 3 o'clock tomorrow for a gel pedicure. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I decided to call them <clears throat> to see what they have available. Because I didn't just want to walk up in there. I really don't feel like... I, my head is honestly kind of hurting me, guys. And I just want to go home, like... My head is killing me right now, so. You ain't crazy. I love Future, I'm so sorry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I love Future. I know gonna snitch, I know he snitched. I'm so sorry, but I'm not gonna stop listening to his music. <laughs> like, turn right. if he had been doing something like pitching little kids, or doing, oh shit, okay, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, I gotta make a U-turn. Ah. Hello, guys. So, I know I was supposed to follow up with you um, about getting my lashes done. So, here's what had happened was, I just didn't have time. I was rushing out the house. I didn't have time to get my camera. Also, my lash girl does lashes out of her house. And um, for very obvious reasons, I don't really want to show that, you know? <laughs> Like, but if you are interested in, in the girl who does my lashes, you can, um, I'll put it in the description box down below. She does them for a good price. If you're on a budget and you want your lashes done, I think that she would be a good place to go. Oh, this is a cute place to sit in my camera. Don't mind the boxes over there. That's the couch that we are trying so hard to get rid of. So right now I am cleaning the house. I feel like cleaning the house is part of my maintenance. You know, my boyfriend is currently out helping a friend move a couch doing things that men should do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> JK, JK, JK. But I am here um, just cleaning up the floors, just wiping up the floors a little bit. It's a little dusty, a little dirty around here. So um, I have to sweep up. Well, I'm currently sweeping up. You can see the broom over there. And I'm gonna sweep the floors a little bit. I never did go get that pedicure, y'all. I never did go get that pedicure. I probably should have went to do that after I got my lashes done, but I just, I'm just, my toes don't look that bad anyways. Really the real issue was my lashes and my nails. Like they were busted, okay? Feet, however, they are a little busted, but because I get nude on my toes, you can't really tell that they're that busted. Let me look. They're a little busted, child, but it's not too bad. You can't really tell. So I might try to go tomorrow, like during my work break or something or after work. I don't know, we, we gonna see. But um, yeah, for now, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna clean up my house a little bit. And then I need to plan out my week and just kind of like sit down and organize my life as it comes to like content creating and work and all those things. Um, because I really wanna get consistent with you guys. Like I really wanna post two videos a week. At first I was trying to do one video a week, but I feel like with the way that my channel is going right now, I need to post twice a week. Because I did kind of like a rebrand because my content is slightly different from what it was before i'm losing subscribers which i was expecting but yeah one one video a week is just not gonna work right now with the way that my channel is going so i have to do two videos a week and 
going to start uploading them on Sundays and Wednesdays I'm looking at right now. I'm thinking to maybe do vlogs on Sundays and then like beauty content on Wednesdays, like my hair videos, my um, clothing hauls, the stuff that you guys really like to see, you know? I'm thinking about doing them on Wednesdays. Will you guys let me know in the comments down below, would you rather watch my vlogs on Sundays or would you rather watch my beauty content? Do you not really care? Vice versa, you know, let me know in the comments down below. I want y'all's input, like your input matters. So yeah, um, I think I'm done chit chatting away. Oh, do you like my lashes by the way? Look at them, so cute. I don't like them super duper full. I don't like my lashes to be super duper full. I think she did like a really good job of like getting the shape that I like. And I don't know, I think she did a really good job this time. She always does like a pretty good job, but um, I feel like every time I go to her, she gets better and better. I like to work with people who are kind of just starting out, sort of, and like growing with them. It's always really amazing to see. I did that with my hairstylist. My nail techs, not really. I like to have experienced nail techs. See Carby. Me too, for the old me. Call me on my bullshit. Gotta be a safe my booty. Getting paid, but even if it ain't. which one I use, whether it's for oil, it's vinegar, or anything at all, I don't know. Choreography. Come on, choreography. She is pregnant. Oh, 